So I'm going to do a follow up with Bell and Tiger, who I began talking with in a live chat, but couldn't hear their mom. So we're going to follow <laughs> up today and get some more information about Bell and Tiger. This is the Animal Intuitive Show. I am an animal communicator, so we talk about animal communication and, and do demonstrations of animal communication, as well as uh, animal acupressure massage and energy work and natural pet care and interviews with experts in the fields of animal care and advocacy. I really appreciate you subscribing, liking, sharing. That's just how YouTube works. It keeps the show going and uh, shared with people who might benefit and their pets. So I really appreciate you doing that and being here. So that being said, I started to talk with Belle and Tiger in a live chat and what happened was their mom couldn't be heard or seen. So um, I was looking <laughs> at her comments and her comments weren't even coming up either. So we were like completely cut off from each other. So I was just, I just kind of went with it and was talking with Belle and Tiger. Um, Belle has passed, so she's in spirit. And this is Tiger. So it's even better because now we have Tiger on video. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to continue that conversation and I'll tell you just real quick um, summary. What I was getting from Tiger was completely about Melissa, the mom. She, mom, she was um, talking about how she kind of lives for mom. Some dogs have something else that they're uh, here on this earth to do or, or, you know, and I'm not saying Tiger doesn't have other things, but it's really all about mom. Um, so then, Melissa, I will let you take it from there and let me know what your response is to that and we'll continue. Sure, sh absolutely. So you hit it right on the nose. Um, she is my, we call her Queen Bee in the house. She is, she is definitely the leader of the pack here and she, she's amazing. She's the best hunter. She's the best, okay. she's the smartest. She's the first one to learn. I'm gonna cut you off i don't mean to cut you sure. off <laughs> i don't mean to be rude no, no. but Am i like I to, too much yeah i like to just get um as little as possible just so that i can maintain the integrity and then also it doesn't cloud my my impressions um so okay so what questions do you have for uh tiger I'm gonna take a sip here. um i would like to know she she found us three years ago. She was kind of a skinny, older puppy and came to my front gate. And she adopted me. And I just want to know about her life before she found me and how many siblings were in her litter. And did she have a mama to raise her and love her like a dog mama? Or was she abandoned? You know, anything you could tell me that she wants to share. Okay. All right. So grateful. That's Bam. So grateful. She was not taken care of. I do pick up some abuse. I feel I'm getting yelling, a man's voice yelling at her. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> not as much physical, more like, um, emotional abuse poor sweetie and it really went to her heart that's why she's so grateful for you because she's so sensitive and just wants to please so that was just terrible oh this baby yes and you know she is very sensitive she is if, if i if i have to correct her which is not that often she mm -hmm. kind of salts for a while like oh mm -hmm. mom got after me you yeah. know yeah um yeah the poor baby and a lot of times people assume that because their pet is um skittish or sensitive or you know just different behaviors they kind of assume that the animal is abused like if they go like that they'll you know if they they're like oh i touched their head and she goes like that it really isn't always the case, um, but with her, 
unfortunately, yeah, there was she just way too heavy for her. Um, okay, so siblings wise, I'm getting one female, three males, two, two or three. There might have been a male that didn't make it because it feels faded to me, one of them. Mm hmm. They were not together long. It feels like she was taken from that litter. I get somebody having a litter of puppies in their home and then people taking them. Like adopting them out or selling them out. All she ever wanted was really just stability and that's why she's so happy with you. The relationship, stability, Comfort. Um, as far as her getting to you, like showing up, um, and I remind people, you can fast forward if I'm thinking. Um, we're pre-recording this, so I'll probably go back and edit out my silent spots, but just in case I don't get them all, just fast forward. Don't hang up. Don't click off. You can always fast forward because I'm listening to, to Tiger. Something's coming up with puppies. I'm seeing her like lying on, I don't know if this is her, let me see if this is her litter or if she had puppies. Oh, that's a great question because we we did find, she came to us as an older puppy and I wondered mm -hmm. if she, I did have her spayed, uh, but I wondered if she ever was a mama. Yeah. Okay. Let me see what she's referring to. I just want to, because I'm seeing a dog that looks like her lying with puppies. So I'm going to see if that's her or her mom. I feel like she did have puppies and it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like it was um, a good situation it doesn't feel like they were with her long and there's sadness about that. She didn't get enough time with them. Such a sweetheart. I also get that she is very intelligent and that translates into, for her, like in life, she feels like she is very um, able to discern what should happen next. So I get this um, sense of, and in full disclosure, you did mention to me before that she, we got on that she um, kind of like rules the roost. Yes. The other yeah. Dogs. She's yeah. agreed. Mm -hmm. Oh, were, were you talking about Belle? I'm sorry. When we talked um, before. Well, both. Um, okay. Both. Now that Belle has passed, Tiger is the leader. Okay. So I don't know what you mentioned to me before, but, <laughs> but in yeah. any case, I know you did mention Belle could get kind of snippy but i can't remember if you talked yes. about um tiger before but in any case that's what's coming up about her that she's i get this rules the roost and it's about uh like this is what needs to happen next this is logical um mm -hmm. and she has no problem saying that because to her it's just makes makes sense that's how she is um, and likes to just I get this like likes to keep things going uh, and I feel like that is this hunter thing I don't know do you take her hunting or do you oh, we we live we live rurally and okay. she she's she loves to hunt she, she catches mice she catches lizards okay. she loves it okay so she doesn't literally go out hunting like hunting deer no. or anything like that okay so this is just right. her hunter spirit okay they're her hunter drive okay mm -hmm. um 
Yeah, she says, I get like humans are, you know, when you, you're in the flow, like you're working and you're in the flow, that's what I get about her hunting. Like she feels in the flow, not stressed. It's her best self. Um, yes. Right on. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's so sweet. She's just so uh, light. Like she's. She her her energy is very light. Like um, English would be putting it in words um, that are human would be like she doesn't expect much um, and she's just happy to be in the moment and be enjoying the moment and being with you absolutely just this is we have a lot in common you and her yes uh <laughs> and yes it There's something about a commonality is something to do with, okay, this is the way this is coming to me. I don't think it's literal. It's being shown to me like this though. So maybe this will make sense to you. She's, um, I'm seeing knitting like yarn. I'm hearing the word creative mm -hmm. and something's like stirring in my heart. I feel this creativity and excitement mm -hmm. about it yeah. and that's yes. her connection with you she loves Very it cool loves it. <laughs> yes that's her lightness you... like the artist light you know like that kind of free spirit like what does that mean to you what um i'm uh I'm a software developer. I'm very logical. I also like to make things with my hands. Mm -hmm. And she loves her doggy toys. She's obsessed with her doggy toys. Like, mm -hmm. they're everything. They're all over the house, outside, and they're, they're her toys. And she, she kind of expresses herself with the toys. Like, what toy does she want to play with? And <laughs> also with the hunting. Okay. When she hunts for critters. Um, she's in the zone when she's hunting and she, and it's pure joy. Oh, that's so yes. sweet. So you make stuff. What do you make? If you don't mind me asking. Um, I do, I do a little bit of woodworking, um, make crafts, um, paint things, mm -hmm. um, Color. for example, mm -hmm. yes. Last mm -hmm. summer I painted the entire exterior of the house. And she wow. was with me the whole time. And actually, she got a few drops of paint on her oh, uh, that gosh. I had to get off because she was just with me. And uh, it's a color. There's something about color with her, which is interesting because, you know, dogs have a different level of seeing color. It's tied to the word color for me because you're expressing yourself with colors. And so it's not necessarily that she's seeing all the colors, but. Mm hmm that's the association so uh, and you know yeah. and it's really interesting that you say that she doesn't expect much she just wants stability mm. and she she there is no crying with tiger there is no whining no crying ever because mm. she, her needs are met at all times and she's the first dog that i've ever had that doesn't cry and whine and <laughs> and she she just doesn't do that she's mm. just happy yeah she's wonderful beautiful soul yeah she is um is there anything else you wanted to ask her or tell her um does she feel the love that we have for her oh yeah no question um i'm seeing if that is i want to go back to you mentioning that she usually like, showed up at your door um yes the way that comes across to me is her going down the street <laughs> And like your house is um, light. It feels different. Like the energy there, the space there feels, I don't like open. Yes. The energy. 
and she was just not like, heavy yeah not heavy she, at all yeah. yeah and she was like whoop like went right there like that's it that's the one for me and <laughs> she knew she just had that sense of this is this is going to be it for me um I think that she did check out energetically who was in your house that you were there and there was a sense of okay this is a light person this is the person for me and it's interesting because she knew that you were going to take care of her seeing if she was told in any way like guided because there's this sense that it was like go this way and that makes sense to me i mean i think god takes care of his creatures and sure i believe that yeah something feels like she felt she had to get away from something or someone she didn't want that anymore and got away and it i get the word dismissed and so um it, I get the sense of like, I'm free, I'm free. And um, it was really important that she find the right place to go now. Like, this is going to be my new phase of life. I don't want to go somewhere like that again. And so it has to be yes. the right place. Yeah. This is like a big turning point for her, a big deal to make that break. I'm free. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Do you know if she was about a year old when she found, when she found me? She's uh, hearing the thunder right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, one, one and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to like one in two months, a little over. Mm-hmm one three months somewhere in there but yeah around there mm -hmm. anything else you wanted to ask or tell her no i think we pretty much covered everything i was curious if she was ever a mom herself um and you know just a little bit about where she uh where she was before she walked up to my front gate <laughs> yeah that's so cool Very cool. Yeah. Um, okay. So you wanted to also, um, Belle. It's so funny, interesting to me, because my childhood best friend had two cats named Tiger and Belle. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is, that is wild. Wow. And it was part of my, like, sort of desire to have animals was, like, envy that she had these cats. All right, so this is Belle. Yes. Okay. When did Belle pass? December 1st, 2020. Oh, so not long ago, okay. Right. All right, so when I initially was talking to her and we couldn't, you and I couldn't connect, um, I, it kind of just started, I didn't know what you wanted to know, but it was just the initial was, it was time. And I felt like that was the, like the, that was the first thing that came across was it was time. And I wasn't sure if you had had some kind of question about that at that point, because for some reason that's what came up. It was time. Yes. I, uh, wanted to know, um, she, I just wanted to know, did I do everything right with her illness that I should have done? Um, okay. From her opinion. I hear the words, um, like, like wasting, like I was wasting away. Um, so again, emphasizing like you couldn't have done more. Okay. It feels like um this came on and there was like um it was like a moving train that you couldn't really stop 
that's right on exactly we just rolled with it we did vet visits medicine things like that yeah it doesn't feel like you could have stopped it it was something that was happening in the body that was going to happen and you did everything you could um some part of this affected the kidneys and that seems like it the kidneys couldn't um remove things i don't it was like that i don't know if that was the final thing but like there was something there that i think she's saying is that um i was so c cuddled like i get this cuddled held i see her kind of like that like lying on a bed and mm -hmm. being like just everything being put around her like to give her comfort very attentive to that making sure yes. that she was warm enough and soft enough surface and comforted and held and she felt all of that she says excuse me that the the transition was simple um because of where she was at it was like okay now it's just time like this is I'm going to kind of step into the next thing. Did she have any pain? Very medicated. I'm feeling like numbed out, like the pain. Um, she could have, but she was medicated properly so that she didn't feel that. Again, you know, you doing everything you could do. I feel like this vet was actually wise and in tune like knew what to do what could be done and was careful about that was giving her everything that 